word reached us last Thursday that a humpback whale had been seen off the north coast. Now, luckily for us, the whale whisperer himself, Andy Tate, was on that boat, and he sent us this photo of the whale. And you can see now why it's called a humpback whale. You see that hump on its back? Beautiful whale, and we're lucky because it's quite a showy whale as well. When it goes into a deep dive, it latches its back and the tail fluke comes right up and it's got a huge tail up to five meters across. It's a very impressive species. And this area, not just Mull, but the Hebridean Sea, is a fantastic place for cetaceans. And that's because of a mix of marine habitats. You've got shallow bays, you've got sheltered sea lochs, you've got fast-moving currents and upwellings with plenty of food, you've got deep channels for the bigger whales, so much so that they've recorded 23 species here. Now that is over a quarter of all the known species on Earth. And if you think that is impressive, come over here with me and have a look at this. This, right, is the cetaceans seen on Mull just in the last week, since June the 1st. And I can actually add to that because just yesterday here, off the south of Mull, two minke whales were spotted swimming together. And these aerial shots of the two whales here show you the whales, not just the whales, but if you look carefully, you can see their white pectoral fins, known as minke bittens, and they use those to corral fish together so that they can lunge feed. And minke whales, well, they're seen around Mal here between, I would say, between April and October. But those are not the only cetaceans to be seen yesterday. Bottlenose dolphins were also seen just off the island of Iona, off the southwest of Mull. Here's an individual here just playing in the wake of that boat. They're at the most northern part of their range here, and they're quite impressive dolphins. Can grow to be about maybe three, three and a half metres long. And common dolphins too. We see plenty of common dolphins here. Going out in a boat, I've seen pods numbering 50, 60, 70 individuals. They are supreme swimmers with those markings down the side and they'll come and investigate the boat, they'll ride the bow wave and then when they've had enough of you, they'll just leave and they disappear in seconds. They are, as I say, supreme swimmers, they really are. And it's not just cetaceans either, there's other megafauna off the coast of Mull and that includes the impressive basking shark. And just yesterday, two were seen off call. Now this is what you usually see, just a, a large dorsal fin there and a tail, but if you're ever lucky enough to get underwater with them, it's an impressive beast. It is the second largest shark in the world, grows to about 10 meters in length, and they feed on plankton, believe it or not. They follow the plankton blooms up north to the waters off here. And at the moment, the Shark Trust has got a very interesting citizen science project going on. It runs till October. They're asking people to send in sightings of basking sharks. Now, they could turn up anywhere, but there are hotspots. Let me show you these. The real hotspots are around Devon and Cornwall here, all around Ireland, actually, Northern Ireland, of course. The Isle of Man, quite a few seen off the Isle of Man, and in particular, up here, off the west coast of Scotland, anywhere here. But as I said, keep your eyes open, because they really could turn up anywhere.